Hello, Pastor John here from Pinesburg Baptist Church. On this last day of September, what a what a fast month, what a fast year, even though we've been penned up most of the year. We want to invite you to our services this coming Sunday. Uh, this is the day we've been thinking about and, and praying for all for months and months now. I don't know what to expect, but we've invited all the delivery drivers in the area in. And we anticipate having some with um, with the gift, gift certificates given to each one that comes. And uh, it's, that's at the 11 o'clock service on Sunday. And we have special music. I'll be preaching a message that morning entitled, You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet. I know that's not the best English, and I hope our English teachers out there will will forgive me, but that's what I've called it this morning. You ain't seen nothing yet. And um, I want to think, as we think about that, as we think about the things coming, let me give you the address, 14706 Clear Spring Road in Williamsport, Maryland. Put that in your little do doohickey on the, on the dashboard, and it'll come right up to the parking lot of the church. Um. In Psalm chapter 25, verse 11, it says, For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is, for it is just. Um, I want to I think about that word pardon this morning. Um, and I think, of, I think of the story, well, par pardon means to forgive. Um... It means to forget as much as we can. It means to not hold something against someone. Think of them just as if they never did it, whatever whatever they're serving a sentence for or a punishment for. I think the story is told of a man who, who uh, killed another man and he was sentenced to hang. And uh, the townspeople realizing that that the, that the uh the prisoner was not guilty signed a petition to get him pardoned and the judge granted the peti the petition he granted the pardon signed the paperwork the only condition that the that the townspeople had was that the 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 um, judge dressed up like a preacher carried a bible and put the petition in the Bible, or the pardon in the Bible. So the judge granted that, and he, and he did that, and he walked into the jail cell, and the prisoner told him to get out. He didn't want to have anything to do with it. Little did he know that inside the Bible was his pardon. And he actually sentenced his own self to death. In thinking about our situation with the Lord, we that turn the Lord down do the same thing. Christ has a pardon for us, and all we have to do is give him our hearts. And um, we shoo him away. We chase him away. We don't accept him. We put him off to a more convenient time, which very seldom comes. So think about the, the story this morning and the pardon. You know, it'd be terrible for the president to pardon a turkey at Thanksgiving time. And we don't pardon ourselves to be able to get inside the gates of heaven. What a tragic time that's going to be. Accept the pardon. Accept Christ into your heart and you'll never be sorry. Now you make it a good hump day. Make it a good last day of September. And we'll see you tomorrow, the first day of October. Now, until we do meet again in October, this is Pastor John wishing you a great day and may God bless.